What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike with SharePoint in 60 Seconds. want to welcome you back to the channel. If you have not liked and subscribed, please go ahead and do that. Maybe you can hold off on the liking part to see if you dig what's in the video. All right, we're going to get right to it. This is going to be a quick video on how to color code a SharePoint list or document library using conditional formatting rules, which is brand new, at least to my tenant, as of like a week ago or so. So stick around. Let's see how this all works out. We're going to jump right into it. Um, basically, we want to color code this list so that Atari is blue, Nintendo is green, Sega is red, or whatever we decide as we're doing it. Well, through the magic of conditional formatting, all we have to do is select Format Current View, and then select Conditional Formatting, and then we'll build the rules based upon the values in the Company or Manufacturer column. So let's do that. We're going to go ahead and edit the rule. We're going to base this off the company. And we're going to start with one rule for Atari. So if company is equal to Atari, oh, we don't want to add another condition. Uh, if company is equal to Atari, then we want something to happen. Right now it's just shading it but we actually want it to be a specific color. So we're going to go to Manage Styles, No Fill, and we're going to change the font color to red. There we go. Boom. So we're good to go on that particular rule. So now we want another rule. Format Current View. Manage rules, um, add a rule, if company or manufacturer is equal to Nintendo, and it, auto it automatically gives us a different shading from the previous one, which is pretty neat. We're going to say no fill, and we'll, let's just go with green since that was uh, what they... It's a little light, but you get the idea. Save. Let's do it again. Format current view. Manage rules. Add a rule. And you see it already changes the color again because it, it kind of figured out what we're about to do. If it equals Sega, then we want to make it... I don't know. Let's do purple. See how that shows up. Eh, good enough. But if we were to go in and make them bold, that would make it really stand out. So we'll go ahead and save this. Close. Refresh. Make sure that it's stuck. And then there you go. Pretty slick. One thing you might have noticed, and I'll, I'll run through this and then I'm going to hop off. One thing you might have noticed is that I asked for the entire row to be color-coded, but it only did the other stuff besides the title column. This is the original title column. I just renamed it Model. So, in theory, that would mean I'd have to go into Format Current View, Manage Rules, Add a Rule. Oh, no. Not. Let's, uh, let's close that. So I'll go back here. Manage rules. So we've got the three rules. But these three rules are pertaining to the entire row. From my experiments, if we want to affect the um, name or title, document library would be name. We've got to switch this from entire row to the, again, the original title uh, or document name field. And now we can go to conditional formatting, manage rules, 
see how it isolates just that model column. And then we can go in. Oh, let's edit the rule so we can make it. So if the company is equal to Atari, then we want to make it red. So no fill, red. See? Oh, now that is very interesting. I only did the one rule here, and it went ahead and did some things. Well, I didn't even notice this down here. Is that? Wow. We're going to have to do another, um, another video. But with that, this is Carolina Mike saying, I hope you're using the new conditional formatting rules, and you may have noticed there was not a bit of coding, so this is all out of the box. Thank you. Thank you, whoever at Microsoft invented this. Thank you. All right. Please like, please subscribe, share, and if you see me pop up on your live again, join me, and uh, let's have some fun. So with that, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. See you next time.